What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here, and I am back with another day of Sopranos Timber. Today we are looking at the mid-season premiere, the start of season 6B, Soprano Home Movies. Now, this episode came out about a year after the last episode when it first aired. And so because of that, some people view season 6 as two seasons, a season 6 and a season 7 almost. Um, but for me, it's really telling one cohesive story throughout the two parts. So that's really why I consider Sopranos to have six seasons, not seven. Now, this episode opens with a flashback to the season five finale, All Due Respect. When Tony is fleeing from the FBI from John's house, he tosses his gun into the snow so that if he's caught, um, he won't have a gun charge added on top of that. And some kid finds the gun and takes it. And he plays with it for a few years before eventually getting caught. And when he's caught, he says that it was Tony who dropped it in the snow. Uh, so the police arrive at Tony's house and arrest him on the gun charge. The gun also had hollow point ammunition. So that's just another thing on top of this. However, this is pretty much just a popcorn headline. They just wanted to arrest a known gangster and make some news. Um, but the charge is very minor. Um, so the case ends up being dropped. After this, Janice and Bobby invite Tony and Carmela to go up to their cabin for his birthday coming up. They head up there and end up having a good time, you know, hanging out, talking, and bonding as a family. However, Tony can't help but bring up, like, sad stories. He talks about uh, their pharmacist, uh, one of their kids, drowned in a pool. Um, and so we can see his kind of fixation on negative shit. It's a recurring thing throughout the series that... His depression manifests itself in this negative outlook. He also constantly fixates on any possible insult from Janice. Uh, so we can again see that his, his negative mentality here is kind of ruining a good family moment. After this, Tony and Bobby go fishing and they discuss the fact that Bobby has never killed anyone before. This is pretty unusual for a made guy to have never earned his bones like this. But it might be connected to the fact that, you know, on the show, New Jersey has a reputation for making anyone and everyone. Uh, so this might just be going along with that idea. But Tony also says that he was bringing someone up to be his kind of second in command and insulate him from any incriminating evidence. This was Christopher, of course. But he says that now he feels like they have divergent interests. Uh, we can see this earlier in the episode when Christopher didn't show up at Tony's house after he was released from prison. So we can see that the bond between the two of them has been severed. However, he says that Bobby maybe can take that place instead, and he might bring him up as his new number two. There's also a connection here to the finale. When they're discussing death, um, Bobby says that you probably don't even hear it coming when it happens. Again, this is connected to the ending of the series. We'll talk more about that when we get to that episode, but there are a lot of details in this episode um, that people feel connect to the finale. Later on, the family start drinking and playing Monopoly and they end up getting really drunk. And Janice tells some of their family stories. She tells the story about how their father uh, took out his gun and shot their mother through her hair uh, while they were driving back from something. And Tony's pretty upset about this because he doesn't like these stories because they make their family look uh, like a dysfunctional family. Which they totally are. Later on though, he ends up making a joke about Janice blowing guys under the boardwalk. And he insults her looks. And all of this really offends Bobby because she is his wife. And he tells Tony, you know, not to say things like that again. Now Tony apologizes for his comments, but he just can't help pushing and pushing it. And he makes another joke about Janice blowing guys. And Bobby finally erupts at this and punches him in the face. Which Tony totally deserves, by the way. This leads to a big brawl between the two of them. It gets really physical. James Gandolfini actually ended up getting hurt during the filming of this. Um, and Carmela is hurt as well when she tries to stop them. She ends up falling into a table and getting her shoulder really hurt. Eventually, though, Bobby knocks out Tony onto his back and ends up winning the fight. Eventually, they're able to calm everyone down and they end up going to bed. The next day, Tony claims to have let the whole incident go. However, we can see that he keeps stewing on the fact that he lost. He can't accept the fact that he was, 
humiliated like this and it just bothers him and gets underneath his skin. Later, he and Bobby go to meet with some Canadians to buy some medication that they're going to sell on the black market. And one of the guys mentions that he has a problem with his sister's ex-husband. Uh, the ex-husband wants to take away th their kid and he wants this guy gone. So Tony offers to get rid of the guy if they'll lower the price on the medication and he orders Bobby to do the hit. He does this in revenge for the fight. Of course, earlier in the episode, Bobby you know, said that he never killed anyone. And this is Tony's way of getting revenge and making Bobby do something that he really doesn't want to do. So Bobby travels to Canada and shoots this guy. And we can see that a piece of his soul is ruined from this ordeal. Tony really wanted to hurt him for what he did. And this was his way of kind of damaging Bobby's soul. So we are going to see a change in Bobby moving forward from this after he finally does his first kill. But that is the episode Soprano Home Movies. A really well done episode in my opinion. And a great start to the second half of season 6. So thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for the next Soprano Log coming soon. We're done with the song now. Special thanks to my patrons Hunter, Tommy Smith, Abdallah Alamari, Russell, Sean, Graham, Rooftop, Rico Bellic, Heart of Markness, Broccoli, Isaiah, Placenta Juan, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Lance Klump, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, James, Conchok Chopal, Obstacle Racing Media, Daz J. Kit, William Lanson, and Conan Higgins.